Let's move to the Big Ten now, which starts Wednesday in Chicago at the United Center, where Purdue um, tried to blow another like huge second half lead this week and actually held on to win against uh, poor Jake Hassan's, um Illini. Purdue, like the prohibitive favorite here, about plus 175. Indiana with Jackson Davis and Hood Shafino up next at about plus 450. Michigan State, the, the zombie Spartans, like this, it's amazing with Tom Mizzo every single year, about eight. Uh, Maryland, not a great week for the Terrapins. Maryland about plus 850. Iowa and Illinois and Northwestern. And then Ken and I had a funny conversation off air earlier today about Northwestern, about 10 to 1. Michigan, Brad Evans kind of likes a little bit. I feel like people are going to talk themselves into Michigan. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Michigan at 15. Penn State at 30. Buzzard breeding win over Maryland. Maybe gets Penn State into the tournament field. Wisconsin at 50. Ohio State, Ken, at 100 to 1. And we can talk about other teams or or we don't have to. And we can just stick to the ones that I we just, mentioned. I will... <laughs> Like, who do you have winning the bottom half of this bracket? I, I, you could name any team that's not like Minnesota. And I'd be like, okay, like, no problem. I, I just, Northwestern is like doing the most with less. Like they're the two seed, but if they lost yesterday, they were going to be the nine. So like, they've like overachieved tremendously. They're good. It's not like they're not good. They don't deserve to be in the NCAA tournament. Just there's no, if there's nothing between two and nine, and they're the two, and Indiana was like the 700th best team in the country down the stretch of the season, and they're the three? Okay, then if I tell you it's like Maryland, or I tell you it's Penn State, who's like been really interesting the whole year but never put it together, or it's Illinois, who I could have just said the exact same thing about, and they're the seven, and they're playing Penn State. I I have no clue who's going to come out of that half, so it's prob- the answer probably has to be a team from that half. And I know Purdue has had all these second-half problems, and they have young guards, and there's people find all these reasons to not like Purdue. I mean, like they're still kind of a monster, and I, I don't – like you could bet Michigan State, but if you like Michigan State, just bet Michigan State against Purdue and betting against Iowa or Wisconsin the game before that, uh, and you're probably going to do better than, than betting the 6-1. to one. I don't want to go against Purdue in the upper half. And if I did, it would be with a short price team that I could just bet anyway. Bottom half, God, like Penn State 25. I mean, just like something like that. Is it is it them? Is it Illinois? It's kind of like who you like in that 7-10 game, maybe to beat Northwestern and go. Or you could I guess you could just bet Northwestern. They're 850 in that half, too. Like, I guess, like, what if this just continues? I guess it's possible. This it seems a little bit to me like the ACC bracket. One incredibly solid, very likely winner, short priced. Bottom half could pick any team, and I wouldn't be surprised. Like the ACC is the exact, it's the carbon copy of this, basically. Uh, so I would treat it and bet it the same way. Tyler, who do you like at the bottom of the Big Ten bracket? I'll, re- I'll read the teams here. Penn State, Illinois in the 10-7. Maryland likely to beat Minnesota or Nebraska as the 6 against either the 11 or 14. So Northwestern would play the winner of Penn State and Illinois. Indiana likely to play Maryland. The winners would play each other in advance of the championship game. Tyler, who do you like at the bottom of the bracket in the Big Ten? I think I like Indiana to come out of the bottom of that, but i got to keep up with my bid here. I've been kind of been talking about this Penn State team for like a, over a month now, and they're kind of starting to figure it out. Now, they play a style of basketball that I don't think any, any Power 5 team, any Power 5 conference team plays. They shoot a ton of threes. They're like last in the country in offensive rebounds because they don't play a big, and they just go five out and spread you out and hope they make a ton of threes. They're making a ton of threes now, and they have an interesting run against Illinois and Northwestern, and then maybe they play Indiana. In the in the what is it, the final in the final four semifinal I might I might do I might Georgetown this team and just take them until they lose that's kind of my thought in this they have one of the better players in the country Jalen Pickett I mean he's he might win Big Ten uh, I mean he might win one of the better uh, the point the Bob Cousy Award for point guard of the year he's phenomenal Penn State is super interesting and they're getting hot and if with a team like that the team like this is shooting really well they can knock off anybody in that bottom half of the bracket and then just get dumb trucked by Purdue because they don't play a big. So, yeah, I think I'm going to Penn, st- against Penn State against the spread or whatever until they lose because I think they're a lot of fun. It, it sounds like Purdue's just going to, like, win this tournament. I mean, I, like, they uh, – Michigan State can get them for sure. Michigan State almost got them – God, what was that? Uh, President's Day, Martin Luther King Day, one of those holidays we did the show that was, like, the 2 p.m. game or whatever. It was, uh, that was like, a one-point game. It was Martin game. Luther yeah. King Day. Yeah. Right. And so, so it's again like the it's not like the margin is massive, and Purdue seems to let teams back into games a lot. So it's not like they can't be had. It's just like if if I'm gonna do it, like it's like, do I want to bet Michigan State six now when they have to play Iowa before they even play Purdue before they play the final? I'll just bet them in those games. Like bet them against Iowa. Bet them against bet them against Purdue as a big dog. Bet them in the final against whatever Indiana or Penn State. Whatever. I just. 
like why now for betting that number i guess whereas like the bottom you could just see like favorites lose their first game in the two and three regions and it's just like the, that that bracket can actually get blown up where maybe your price ends up improving maybe indiana doesn't even make it to the game against penn state in the semifinal. maybe maybe maryland makes it instead or a team even worse than that I, I think I think we'll end up seeing Indiana and Purdue round three, Jackson Davis against Zach Eady. I think that would be the best matchup in the Big Ten final. Uh, it's like Indiana get out of the bottom half and then like per, per, Purdue's really good. Purdue's really good. Zach Eady might have heard pretty good at basketball.